Hey guys, Dan the Marketing Man here. I'm back with another video. Today we're talking about sales, okay? This is my favorite topic, it's my favorite thing because this is the thing I focus on the most in my agency. So this month in September, I've been aggressively trying to scale my agency. So I'm gonna go over some of the new outreach methods that I'm doing, but more importantly, the title of this video, okay? How can you consistently close high ticket deals every single day in your agency? So if you don't know, it's by keeping a huge pipeline. You should always have deals coming in every single day building that pipeline up so if you don't have a pipeline we're going to talk about what it takes to actually create one manage it effectively so you're always getting deals like months out because sometimes you'll get a deal you know the clients like hey follow up with me in 30 days and if you do many chances you know you actually do close the deal so you got to build that pipeline up so where you're consistently getting deals so yeah if you're struggling with that right now if you're not getting consistent deals uh it's because you're focused on you know yesterday you can't really do that you know, if you want to start getting deals moving forward, you can only change what you're doing today. So you have to start now. So if you haven't already, pick up the phone, make a social media DM, get in there somehow and start doing some outreach. But without further ado, guys, we're going to get right into the video, how to manage your pipeline effectively and start consistently closing high ticket deals every single day in your agency. So if you're still here, please give this video a like, subscribe, turn the notification bells on an algorithm, please save me. So let's get right into it. Like I said, I've been trying to scale my agency a lot this month. So I've partnered up with a couple other people in the agency space. For those of you who watch my channel, I know a lot of you guys also watch Kai Bax, okay? I hired his agency to actually start running Facebook ads for me and it's been going pretty well. I'm gonna show you guys some of the case studies per se for Apex Acquisitions. That's the name of Kai Bax's agency that uh, he helps agency owners basically do. So he built out a full funnel for me, uh, start to finish, he's running all the ads and it's been going great. It's been going great. Uh, with that said, it was kind of like all the stars were aligning at the beginning of the month because I had um, someone reach out to me on Instagram and he was like, hey, um, can you, you know, are you taking on any salespeople right now? I'd love to be a salesperson for you. So I just, I'm about to start this Facebook stuff. I'm already doing, you know, organic ads outreach, cold calling, social media DMs, a little bit of cold email, not really any mass email, stuff like that. But I, I got to six figures only doing organic marketing, cold calling, social media outreach, all the hard stuff. And literally this month in September makes it 11 months since I started my agency. So it hasn't even been a full year officially, but basically, yeah, we made it to six figures and now I'm barely starting to run ads. So I, I recommend everybody do that, by the way, just kind of as a side note, if you're trying to, you know, case studies for like a new offer or you're not trying something or maybe you've never sold something before, if you can't sell it through cold calling, through social media outreach, you know, all the organic methods that cost nothing, I don't recommend you should run ads okay running ads for what other people say you should be making at least twenty thousand dollars or more in revenue first before you start to run ads but i disagree i actually don't care how much you're making to me it matters how consistently you're doing it like is this offer going to last can you really scale up this offer so you know that's just my opinion but we started running the facebook ads it worked very well so let me just kind of take you through some of the lead care stuff here so i'm gonna blur all of my deal one column obviously i don't want you guys to see who my clients are but this is basically what i go over every single day with my salesperson, Kevin, okay? He's actually from Ireland. He's in Bulgaria right now. He is remote, but he's taken all of my sales calls. So it's been going very well. I think he is going to, you know, do very well moving forward. So far, he's been with me for about two weeks. He's been closing quite a lot of deals. But yeah, we go over this every single day. So obviously there's a lot going on here. So if you guys don't know, I get this question a lot, but uh, what is Lead Tracker? Okay, it's Lead Carrot. So for those of you who know who you know, Ross Christofoli is, he has a SaaS CRM, which is basically just go high level with a different logo. So guys, it's just go high level, don't freak out. This is my pipeline. So as you can see, there's lead in, the interested tab, appointment set, pitch, deal one, and deal lost. So you can even see how many leads we have in there. Now, the great thing about Lead Carrot and why I got it is that you can actually scrape leads and use go high level as a dialer also. So basically you have a place where you can get leads, make calls and manage all of your leads in one place. So that's why I used go high level slash lead carrot for this. So yeah, you can see right there, we have about, um, you know, 3,400 leads in the lead in. And I just have, you know, appointment setters cold calling all of them. They just cold call all day long. And they also do social media outreach. They also do some other organic marketing, uh, which I haven't talked about in other videos, but yeah, we have 3,381 leads in lead in. So once they are there and we convert them into like an interested appointment, let's just say, you know, we're talking to somebody via cold call and you know, 
he's like, yeah, I'm interested to see what you guys have. That's when we move them over to the interested tab. So since we're using Go High Level, I already have all of this automated. So as soon as they drop a lead into that tab, it automatically sends that prospect like an intro, like a, hey, what's up? My name is Daniel. Here's like a video about who we are. Looking forward to speaking with you. And then, yeah, basically it's a two call close system. So they're interested. I call them, hey, what's up? Um, we do this and that. Are you sure you're interested? Let's schedule a call. Once they do that, they go into appointment set and that's it. From there, you know, we, we try to close them. So yeah, the cool thing about Facebook is that we're running ads to for people to go through a funnel essentially. So they see my Facebook ad and from there they go into a funnel where they see like a little video, which is basically what I send all my cold prospects. It's just like a little bit about what we do and who we are with some case studies. It's just a regular funnel. Once they go through that funnel, that's when they schedule a call through Facebook. So all my Facebook ones go directly into appointment set, which is great because we don't have to do any of the uh, you know cold outreach stuff that everybody hates. Um, you can just go directly to appointment set. But what most people don't know as a side note is that this is the better method, even though it's a colder lead, because now there's actual rapport built where they've spoken with a human before they set the appointment. So, you know, definitely test them both out. I love them both. But yeah, just to give you some insight on what we're doing with the Facebook ads, um, this is it. I don't really use my Facebook account much, even though it looks like I have a ton of campaigns. Um, this is the first time I've used this account in a long time. So yeah, as you can see, we have about, you know, $900 spent there in the month of September. So through the month of September, we've spent this much money on ads. How many appointments have we gotten? Well, in my Calendly, and I'm gonna blur the names here, but you can see we had about 20 appointments that were set directly through Facebook. Obviously it says 21, but one was a test, so it's 20. Out of the 20, we've converted five, which is a 25% close rate. We've gotten $6,000 in revenue out of that. Uh, of which we profit about $2,500. So, so far so great, I'm happy with that. Um, there was a lot of learning curve, as I mentioned, because I didn't take a majority of these calls. Um, my salesperson, Kevin, actually took a lot of these calls. So um, I took the first one, which closed, because obviously, you know, I'm very good at sales. I, I know the method well. So I kind of wanted to test it before just throwing somebody to the wolves. And uh, I noticed a lot of the Facebook ads you know, the, the prospects that we get through from there are much more aggressive and that's good and it's also bad. It's good because they're, the, the intent is high. They really wanna buy and they're in the market and they are serious buyers, they have money. But the thing at the same time is that they're very aggressive. So if you try to do like, you know, a long drawn out presentation, they're not gonna be really happy with that. Um, at least that's just my experience. You know, I've barely done it for that long. I've only taken 20 calls in one month. So yeah, again, that's just my experience. So far, like I said, it's been doing well. I wanted to do a little bit better. Typically for my average close rate on cold leads, right, through organic methods, I'm, I'm about like a one out of three close rate. But again, I took, I think two of these calls out of 20. I closed one for sure. And who's the other one? I can't remember. I don't think we've closed them yet. So. We've closed five so far, and then I have like another three in the pipeline. So chances are we're gonna get much more than we're already you know, doing now, which I'm very happy about again, because we have tons of follow-ups that actually schedule for tomorrow and uh, Wednesday and Friday. So yeah, I'm pretty sure we're gonna convert more into that, but so far so great. I like to be at a one out of three close rate because I know that's what works best with my offer. But again, I just hired a brand new salesperson. So it's so funny, I, at the beginning of when I was speaking to him, I even told him, hey, you're probably gonna end up with a 25% close rate or at least that's where I want you. So, you know, we trained it a little bit and I started training him on the pipeline and he's been closing deals consistently. So that's kind of where I wanna keep him. I obviously wanna pay him as much as I can. I want him to do better because then we all do great. But yeah, he's been doing very well so far and I'm hoping to get him a little bit better. But more importantly, fortune is in the follow-up. How do we consistently close deals using this pipeline? I don't understand. So a lot of it has to do with notes. So I'm going to try to hide as much information as I can from uh, you know, these guys, but I just want to show you the notes at least that we're putting in for these clients. So you can basically see more about what I'm talking about here. What's a good example? So yeah, you can see right there. So quoted 30 leads. He's in New York. He's opening up North Carolina in a few weeks. Follow up on Tuesday, the same time. Then you can see the next note is a full day in New York right now waiting for approval in North Carolina. Follow up next week. So again, he was just checking in on that. And then again, still waiting on North Carolina. Looks like he did follow up with them one more time. So we want to just do that. That way they know because many times if we don't follow up with them and let's say they're like, hey, follow up with me 30 days out, they forget. So fortune is in the follow-up. If you guys don't know, it's an actual study. Look it up. National Sales Executive Association says 80% of all deals are closed between the fifth and the 12th contact. Okay, that's a real study. Look it up. 
Google it, National Sales Executive Association. So yeah, Fortune really is in the follow-up. So I love using Go High Level because it helps me do that. I write in my notes. And if you have any other CRMs like Salesforce perhaps, like HubSpot, that's great. You should definitely use that to your advantage. I love this one because you can set up tasks. You can even automate a couple things like anytime we get like a deal lost, um, maybe they didn't fully trust us, maybe they didn't see the value, maybe they didn't have the money at the time, whatever the case is, anytime we put somebody in this deal lost column, they get like a five day email sequence where they just see a bunch of testimonials from our actual real clients and see like case studies of what they're doing. And many times we do get responses out, out of that. I actually made a video how to close an extra, extra three to five deals a month. You can see that strategy in that video if you wanna check it out. That's it. This is how you keep a consistent pipeline where you're closing deals every single day. So yeah, I mean, there's not much to it. Um, there's not like a lot of science. It's just consistency. And that's something that I've learned because even though many people in my life have called me smart or like intelligent or whatever, to be honest, I've never felt that way. But that's why it's kind of hard for me to say this, but you don't have to be the smartest person in the world to make a lot of money. It's true. And I was actually reading a book, The Pillars of Wealth or whatever by Alex Becker. It's kind of like a cringe title, but uh, there's a lot of great lessons in there. And he talks about Jordan Belfort and he's like, hey, you gotta stop connecting or associating time with money. Because in The Wolf of Wall Street, Jordan Belfort talks about, you know, how he was always high or like, you know, doing crazy drugs or partying or whatever. Meanwhile, he's making a million dollars a week. And that's because he had systems in place. He had salespeople in place. He had consistent outreach methods, whether that's cold calling, social media outreach, Facebook ads or whatever type of ads that you're doing. This is how you do it. Okay, consistently closing high ticket deals all the time involves a lot of time. And if you need help with your pipeline, if you're like, man, you know, I just, I have bigger goals than just getting to 10K per month, get a sales team, you know, put your money where your mouth is. If you wanna make $100,000, you know, a month or, or a million or whatever it is, do it. As long as you have a system that you know for a fact works. And again, this took me 11 months for me to actually put down money to put into Facebook ads because for some reason I always just had this mental block where I was like super scared of the Facebook ads. I didn't know if it'll work. But after building up a lot of confidence over like this last year, I'm like, dude, I can close a deal. Like I don't even have to worry about that. So it's totally a different planet that I'm living on than I was like, you know, 16 months ago because I would have never even thought about hitting $10,000 a month. Meanwhile, now we're doing like 30 to $40,000 a month consistently. And and uh, it just keeps getting better and better. And a lot of that has to do with me and the relationships that I'm building with people like my sales team, you know, my outreach team, you know, my account managers where I'm building a true agency where I have a team of people. And, and now I'm, I've grown on this channel. You've seen it from one person to eight people now in my agency. And so we're just continue to grow it. Um, this guy on Instagram, Joel Kaplan, just followed me and he talks about like getting to 100K per month you only need, you know, eight to 12 people. You don't even need that many people. You just need consistent systems that work. So if you wanna consistently close high ticket deals, you gotta know your numbers. And I've talked about this a lot on other videos where you gotta know your numbers for cold calling. Like for my people, if they make 100 dials, they'll usually get one to two appointments. And that's it. So now if I wanna get 10 appointments, all I now have to do is either dial for X amount of hours or have X amount of people for like two hours or whatever. But just know your numbers and then you can scale it from there. So I know if I get three appointments per day, I can close one. Me, personally. Now you gotta do the same thing for your salespeople. So my salesperson right now is at a 25% close rate. So basically, if I give him four calls, he's gonna close one. Okay, well, in my case, $60 per call, then I know I have to get him, you know, $240 worth of calls for him to make $2,000 minimum. And again, this just goes into like KPIs and like scaling your agency. So depending on where you're at, this is kind of a little bit more advanced, but it's also not at the same time. Cause again, even when I was barely starting me doing all the cold calls, I knew my numbers and I was like, okay, if I want to make it, you know, $10,000 or $20,000 this month, I have to dial X amount of times. And you can even see it like on my vision board, I put 333 dials per day will get me two deals per week because I know that if I make a hundred dials, I'll get one really good appointment. So if I get three per day, 300 dials, I'll get two deals per week because I can get, well, that's just what my close rate was at the time. It's changed a lot since then, but the goal hasn't. It's always been to get 150K in 12 months and we officially hit that this month. So shout out to me 12 months ago. We freaking did it. But anyways, uh, I'm kind of ranting now, but hopefully you guys understood the message of this, which is how to consistently get deals in the agency using and managing your pipeline to the full effect. So yeah, if you guys like the video, if you're still watching, make sure to give it a like subscribe and turn the notification bells on because it's free and it really helps me a lot. Uh, with that said, guys, I'll see you guys when I see you guys.